Hey friends, today I would like to talk about long-haired versus short-haired cats and what it's like to live with them. The problems you may encounter and the grooming required for your cat will depend on its length of hair. Whether your cat has long hair, short hair, or no hair, it is very important to keep your cat clean and properly groomed. If you are planning to get a cat but can't decide between a long-haired or a short-haired cat, I hope this video will give you a good idea on what to expect and help you decide whether you will have the money and time for proper upkeep. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more videos like this, and if you could help me out by liking this video so I can reach more people, that would mean the world to me. Anyways, let's get to it! First, let's understand how cat hair follicles work, as this applies to all cats, except maybe the hairless cats. Unlike humans, where we grow 2-3 to three hairs from each hair follicle, cats have compound hair follicles, which means they can grow 3-20 to 20 hairs from one pore. The level of shedding also depends on the season and whether your cat have either a single, double, or a triple coat of fur. Single coat cats would shed far less compared to a triple coat cat. Generally speaking, short haired cats are much easier to groom as their fur doesn't get matted often, and you would probably only need to brush them once a week at most. A silicone brush or a slicker brush would be enough to remove the dead hair from their coat, and 5-10 to 10 minutes of brushing once a week will help them reduce hairballs also the hair that's left around your house. Short hair cats also tend to track less litter around the house and rarely get litter or poop stuck to their fur. If you ever need to bathe your short hair cat, it is a much easier and quicker process compared to bathing a long hair cat. Now that I've told you how low maintenance and easy to groom short hair cats can be, there's one thing you should keep in mind. They do tend to shed more because they go through hair cycles a lot quicker than long hair cats. So although you can spend less time grooming your cat, you may end up having to vacuum around the house more often, and you may also find more cat hair on your clothes and furniture. If you want a cat with medium to long hair, be prepared to groom them at least 4-5 to five times a week if not every day, or be willing to spend the money and bring them to a professional groomer from time to time. Their luxurious coats requires frequent brushing and they can be prone to matting or having litter or poop stuck to their fur as well. A detangling comb and regular brushing will help prevent matting. Some cats love to be brushed and some cats hate it. For those that hate being brushed, they might require trips to the groomers every 6-8 to eight weeks to keep the matting at bay. Serious matting can cause dryness and irritation to their skin and sometimes even an infection. To prevent having litter or poop stuck to their fur, you can trim down or shave the fur near their bums and make sure that their diet is appropriate because softer stools tend to stick more than firmer stools. So if your cat is constantly having poop stuck to their anus or fur in general, they might be suffering from diarrhea. If you have a long hair cat, checking their bum for poop or litter that may be stuck to their fur will become second nature to you. The first thing that I do after I wake up every morning is to look at my cat's bum to see if it's clean. If you are someone that doesn't like the sight of an animal's butthole and would prefer having their long hair covering it, then be prepared to see your kitty dragging poop all around your house that may be stuck to their furry bums. Cats with medium to long hair also tend to have longer fur between their paw beans, which can track a lot of litter around the house. You can use pet trimmers to safely trim down the fur on their paw pads or use litter mats to reduce the amount of litter tracking. They do say that long hair cats tend to shed less compared to short hair cats because they take longer to go through a hair cycle, but from my experience of having both long haired and short hair cats, I don't really notice the difference. From the day I got my first cat, the amount of cat hair found in my home is endless. No matter how much I vacuum or use the lint roller, I find cat hair on my walls, on all my clothes and furniture, simply everywhere. But as a cat parent, you eventually just get used to it and it won't bother you anymore. So no matter the length, if you're going to get a cat with hair, be prepared to have cat hair everywhere. Now that I've talked about all the things to expect with short haired and long haired cats, which is better? Well, that all depends on your lifestyle. How much time are you willing to spend grooming your cat? If you live a busy lifestyle and don't have the time to brush your cat at least 4-5 to five times a week, then a long haired cat may not be for you, unless you can take them to the groomers regularly. Also, are you bothered by random clumps of cat hair around the house? A fluffy cat, or any cat in general, will leave their fluff everywhere. It will require you to vacuum more often, especially with long haired cats, as their hair is much more noticeable. If you're thinking, I'll just go with a hairless cat like Sphinx then, they won't require any brushing or leave cat hair anywhere, so they seem pretty low maintenance, right? 
Well, you might be correct with not having to deal with cat hair being everywhere, but in reality, hairless cat breeds are actually pretty high maintenance and require more grooming than most long hair cats. That's because their skin is naturally oily and requires a bath once a week. They also leave oily stains on furnitures and fabrics. So in general, if you want a lower maintenance cat, I would say go for a short hair cat. And if you find yourself leaning towards a long hair cat, then be prepared to spend a lot of time and care into maintaining the health of your cat's fur. Remember that no matter which type of cat you choose, there is absolutely no difference in the kind of personality or love you can experience. Ultimately, the cat that matches your lifestyle will be the best pet for you. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you would like to learn more about how to care for your cat in general, go check out the other videos on my channel. Anyway, see you next time!